Welcome everyone. Today we're delving into the fascinating world of the Surya Siddhanta, an ancient Indian book all about stars and time. Picture a manuscript, its pages filled with knowledge of the cosmos, penned by scholars whose identities have been lost to time. This is the Surya Siddhanta, a text that has sparked intrigue and curiosity for centuries. This ancient tome is steeped in mystery, its origins shrouded in the mists of time. Some speculate that it's been around for an astounding two million years, while others hold the belief that it's a relatively younger text, conceived around 1500 years ago. Regardless of its true age, the Surya Siddhanta has been a beacon of astronomical knowledge, guiding scholars and enthusiasts alike through the cosmos. But what exactly is the Surya Siddhanta? Well, think of it as an ancient treatise on astronomy, a guidebook of sorts, for understanding the celestial ballet that unfolds in the night sky. It's a deep dive into the movements of heavenly bodies, their interrelations, and the intricate dance they perform in the vast expanse of the universe. The authorship of the Surya Siddhanta is as enigmatic as its content. Was it penned by a lone genius whose intellect transcended the bounds of his era, or was it the collective endeavor of a group of scholars, pooling their knowledge to create this masterpiece? The debate continues, the true author, or authors, remaining elusive. Now you might be wondering why does the Surya Siddhanta matter? Despite the mystery surrounding its creation, the Surya Siddhanta has had a profound impact on how the universe was perceived in ancient India. It's a testament to the astronomical prowess of the time, a window into a bygone era where scholars looked up at the stars and sought to understand their dance. The Surya Siddhanta is a remarkable testament to human curiosity, a desire to look up at the heavens and comprehend the grandeur of the cosmos, it's a glimpse into the minds of ancient scholars, their understanding of the universe, and their quest to decipher the mysteries of time and space. So stick around as we uncover its secrets. Some folks say it's been around for a mind-boggling two million years, can you imagine? It's as if this ancient text, the Surya Siddhanta, has been whispering the secrets of the cosmos to humankind since time itself began. However, the majority of scholars place its creation a little closer to our times, around the 5th century AD, making it approximately 1,500 years old. Still, that's ancient enough to be awe-inspiring, isn't it? The Surya Siddhanta is steeped in layers of history, its precise origins as elusive as the stars it describes. Theories abound. Some suggest it's the handiwork of an astronomical genius lost in the annals of time. Others propose that it's the collective wisdom of a group of ancient scholars, their identities obscured by the mists of antiquity. The text itself lends a bit of a mystery to its authorship, it claims to be a conversation between an ancient sage and a sun god, where the sage receives the wisdom of the cosmos. However, this divine origin is likely a literary device, a common practice in classical literature. Some scholars believe that the Surya Siddhanta could be the work of multiple authors over centuries. The text covers a wide range of astronomical phenomena, from the motion of planets to the timing of eclipses, suggesting that it may have been updated as astronomical knowledge evolved. There's also a theory that the text may have been influenced by the Hellenistic astronomy of ancient Greece, based on similarities in mathematical and astronomical techniques. This theory, while not universally accepted, opens up the possibility of cultural and scientific exchanges between ancient civilizations. Isn't that a thrilling thought? Despite the uncertainty about its age and authorship, the Surya Siddhanta continues to be a cornerstone of ancient Indian astronomy. It's a testament to the timeless pursuit of knowledge, a journey that transcends cultures and generations. Nobody's quite sure who wrote the Surya Siddhanta, it's a mystery that adds to its allure. And as we continue to unravel its secrets, we're reminded that the quest for understanding our universe is a shared human endeavor, as ancient as the stars themselves. What's in this ancient book you ask? Well, it's chock full of cool stuff about the stars, planets, and how they move around. The Surya Siddhanta is much more than an old manuscript. It's a treasure trove of ancient astronomical knowledge. It presents a unique perspective on the cosmos, one that was way ahead of its time. At its core, the Surya Siddhanta is about the movement of celestial bodies. It outlines the orbits of the sun, moon, and planets with an astonishing degree of precision. But it doesn't stop there. It also delves into the mysteries of eclipses, the phases of the moon and the rise and set of the stars. One of the most fascinating aspects of the Surya Siddhanta is its concept of time. Unlike our modern systems it used a unique cyclical approach, it divided time into four ages or yugas, each with a specific length and characteristics. 
Now isn't that a refreshing break from our monotonous ticking clocks? The Surya Siddhanta also features a unique cosmological model. It envisioned the Earth as a sphere long before this idea became mainstream. It also proposed that the Earth rotates on its axis, causing the apparent movement of the stars. Now let's talk about the calculations. The Surya Siddhanta presents mathematical formulas for calculating celestial phenomena. These formulas were so accurate that they were used in India for more than a thousand years. The Surya Siddhanta is also known for its unique take on planetary motion. It suggested that the planets move in elliptical orbits rather than perfect circles. This idea was revolutionary for its time and predates similar Western theories by centuries, but perhaps the most fascinating revelation of the Surya Siddhanta is its understanding of the speed of light. It proposed a cosmic speed limit that is remarkably close to our modern value. Now that's impressive. So, you see the Surya Siddhanta is not just an ancient book, it's a testament to the deep insights and advanced knowledge of our ancestors. They looked up at the night sky and found a way to decode its mysteries, it's like a guidebook for ancient Indian astronomers to understand the sky. Even though we're not sure who wrote it or exactly when, the Surya Siddhanta has had a big impact on how people in ancient India understood the universe. The influence of the Surya Siddhanta extends far beyond the boundaries of its parchment. This ancient text has been instrumental in shaping the way ancient Indians perceive the cosmos. From the movement of the planets to the rhythm of the seasons, the Surya Siddhanta offered a framework for understanding the celestial dance that unfolds above us. This text didn't just influence astronomers, but also touched the lives of everyday people. It was the Surya Siddhanta that helped ancient Indians develop their complex calendar system. By understanding the movement of the sun, moon, and planets, they could predict the change of seasons, the best times for planting and harvesting crops, and even auspicious times for religious ceremonies. But the impact of the Surya Siddhanta wasn't confined to India alone. Its wisdom spread through the Middle East with the translations of Arabic scholars, and later influenced the development of astronomy in the Western world. Even today the Surya Siddhanta continues to intrigue scholars and astronomy enthusiasts, offering a unique perspective on the cosmos that challenges our modern understanding. The Surya Siddhanta wasn't just an astronomical guidebook but a testament to the human desire to understand our place in the universe. It represents the collective wisdom of a civilization that looked up at the stars with wonder and curiosity, seeking to decode the mysteries of the cosmos. Despite the gaps in our knowledge about the Surya Siddhanta's origins, its influence is undeniable. This ancient text has left a lasting legacy, shaping our understanding of the cosmos and our place within it. The Surya Siddhanta didn't just describe the universe, it helped people make sense of their world, guiding their lives in harmony with the celestial bodies that adorn our night sky. It's like a window into their way of thinking about the stars and time. The Surya Siddhanta continues to inspire us today, reminding us of our enduring fascination with the cosmos and our ceaseless quest to unravel its secrets. But wait, there's more! Some people wonder if the Surya Siddhanta is really as old as folks say. Here's a common question. Is the Surya Siddhanta truly a couple of million years old? It could be, but most experts lean towards a more conservative estimate of around 1,500 years. Another frequently asked question is, does the Surya Siddhanta accurately predict celestial events? The answer is, surprisingly, yes. Despite its age, it provides some remarkably accurate calculations, which is testament to the advanced understanding of astronomy in ancient India. Now there's a misconception that the Surya Siddhanta is all about astrology and predicting fortunes. While it does touch on astrological concepts, its main focus is on astronomy, timekeeping, and celestial geometry. So, the next time you hear someone say the Surya Siddhanta is a fortune-telling book, you'll know better. Well, it's tough to say for sure, but most experts think it's probably not that ancient. And there you have it, folks. The Surya Siddhanta may be shrouded in mystery, but one thing's for sure. It's a fascinating glimpse into ancient knowledge about the stars and time. We've traveled back in time, exploring the enigmatic origins of this astronomical text, delving into the depth of its content, and appreciating its profound impact. We've seen how it's like a celestial guidebook, brimming with insights about the cosmos and the passage of time. We've pondered over its elusive authorship and debated its speculated age, adding to its intrigue and we've understood its influence on the astronomical understanding of ancient India. In the grand scheme of things, the Surya Siddhanta is a testament to human curiosity, a chronicle of our timeless quest to decipher the universe. 
It reminds us that our ancestors too sought answers in the stars just as we continue to do today. Until next time keep looking up,